this is section 4.8 and in this video we're going to be talking about conjugates and why we have to multiply by conjugates. Now remember in division one of the things that you can't have in division is a square root in the denominator. For example you could not have 5 over the square root of 3. Okay. You can't do that. Because we can't have a square root in the denominator, that means we can't leave this letter in the denominator. Because remember, i is the square root of negative 1, which means that that would leave a negative in, or a negative, a square root in the denominator. So what we are going to do is we are going to multiply things by complex conjugates. Because if you remember, i times i is i squared. Well, i squared is negative 1. Well, we, what we can do is, by multiplying by the conjugate, is make sure that if I have an i squared in the denominator, I can change that to negative 1, and now I no longer have an i down in the bottom. So, what we're going to do here is we're looking at being able to multiply by the complex conjugate. Now, one of the things that we have to figure out is how to find the complex conjugate. Well, the conjugate is always the opposite of the imaginary number. The real number stays the same. Opposite of the imaginary, real number stays the same. So if the imaginary number is negative, we're going to make it positive. If the imaginary number is positive, we're going to make it negative. Then we're going to leave the real number alone. We're not going to touch the real number. So... For example, again, the conjugate of 5i. Again, is this the imaginary part or the real part? It's the imaginary part. How do I know it's the imaginary part? Because it has the letter i in there. So, I want to know what's the conjugate of 5i. Well, that means that I have to take the opposite of the imaginary number. Well, the opposite of positive 5i is negative 5i. So the conjugate of 5i is negative 5i. Okay, now this one is a little bit different because this one has a real number and, a con and a, uh, uh, an imaginary number. Okay, so to find the complex conjugate, I take the imaginary number, switch the sign. So the imaginary number is negative 2i. I'm going to make it positive 2i. And the real number stays the same. This right here is the conjugate. Okay. Again, imaginary number changes, real number stays the same. Alright, another example. Negative 2 minus 5i, I want the conjugate of that. Real number stays the same, so that stays negative 2. Imaginary number changes, that becomes positive 5i. That's the conjugate of negative 2 minus 5i. And then the last example, you'll notice this one's kind of different because I have the imaginary number first. So what I want to do first is flip this. That's negative 2 and plus i. So that the imaginary number comes second. Then I want to make sure, okay, real number stays the same. Imaginary number changes. This guy right here is the conjugate. So you can find the conjugate by, again, taking the opposite of the imaginary number, real number stays You should be able to complete the examples here on page 2.